Hello friends, uh, today in this video we are going to solve another interview problem that is uh, maximum meetings in a room, okay? So you have one meeting room at your company and there are n meetings need to take place, okay? Every meeting has a start time and end time along with the meeting title and your task is to schedule as many meetings as possible in the conference room with no conflicts. <laughs> Okay, so what you have given is, and you have given a set of meetings, uh, and each meeting has a start time and end time, and uh, you have one conference room, and you have to uh, schedule as many meetings as possible in such a way that there are no conflicts. Okay, so let's take a few examples. So let's take first this one. So uh, we have a meeting A is starting at or uh, time one and ending at three. And meeting B is starting at two and ending at five. Okay, so meeting A so starting at one and ending at three, right? And the two is uh, the meeting B is starting at two and ending at five. So, so there's a conflict, right? Because meeting B is a starting at two, whereas meeting one. Meeting A is ending at 3. So we can pick only one of these meetings. Okay, so we'll pick the first one. Um, similarly here, um, we have meeting A is starting at 2 and ending at 4. And meeting B is starting at 5 and ending at 6. So we can see that meeting B is starting after the meeting 1 has ended. Right? So we can pick both the meetings so a b and uh, here we have uh, um, like one two three four five six six meetings and our output is a b d f and now let's see how we are going to uh, solve this uh, okay so let's say these are the meetings which are given to us okay <laughs> So first thing, uh, what we will do is we'll sort these meetings, right? We'll sort these meetings as per their end time. Okay. So, um, so a, uh, so which is the uh, meeting which is ending first? So a, so which is one three. Now b. Uh, B is 4 comma 5 right now after 5 uh, 7 so we'll have 7 so 0 comma 7 after 7 we'll 8 so E uh, 6 comma 8 and uh, after 8 D so that is 9 comma 11 and C is the meeting which is ending at last. So at the end, C, 10, 12. Okay. So now we have sorted the meetings according to their end time. Right. Now we'll start picking the meetings. So we'll pick the first one because we are just starting. So we'll pick the meeting A. Now for the next meeting, right. For next meeting, we'll compare the end time. So let's call it as scheduled end time. We are creating a schedule, right, for the meeting. So let's call it as a schedule end time. Schedule end time. Okay. So we'll once we pick the meeting A, we put the meeting A end time as schedule end time. So that is three. Now when we um, uh, look at the meeting B. We'll compare this end time with B start time, right? So this time and this time. So we can see that uh, the meeting B is starting after this end time. So we can definitely pick meeting B, right? And then we'll update this end time to the B end time, which is 
okay so and then the next meeting is f so we'll compare the start time of f with end time schedule end time okay so the start time start time of the meeting should be um, greater than equal to the scheduled end time okay so here the start time of f is 0 whereas the scheduled time is a 5 so that means the f is starting well before this end time so we cannot pick f there's a conflict now the next meeting is e so the start time of e is 6 right so 6 is greater than equal to 5 right so we can definitely pick meeting 6 oh sorry meeting e for which the start time is 6 so we'll pick um, e and update the scheduled end time to this end time which is 8 okay now the next meeting is d and the start time is 9 which is greater than the schedule end time which is 8 so we can pick d as well so d and uh, the last meeting is c and we'll update the once we pick d we'll update the end time to 11 which is the end time of meeting d now the last meeting is c for the start time is 10 and uh, 10 is less than 11 so we cannot pick that there's a conflict right so we'll not pick this so our output is a b e and d we can pick these four meetings uh, without any conflict so now let's go back to the problem and uh, yeah this is another example okay approach this problem is similar to the activity selection problem okay so first short all the meetings according to their end time right select the first meeting and note the end time call it as schedule end time so we are creating a schedule and this is the end time for the schedule now i trade through rest of the meetings for each current meeting right if start time of the current meeting is greater than equal to the scheduled end time schedule end time. so the current meeting right so start time of the current meeting should be greater than equal to the schedule end time right that means the current meeting is starting after the schedule end time that means we can pick that meeting so select the current meeting and update the schedule end time to the end time of the current meeting right else ignore the current meeting we have a conflict right so once we are done with this um, we'll find all the meetings uh, which we can schedule uh, without any conflicts so the time complexity is n log n because we are sorting the meetings okay so let's look at the code so we have a meeting class where is the start time when the, there is a start time end time and the meeting title so if it is a13 so start time is 1 end time is 3 and the meeting title is a and this is a constructor okay so here uh, we have uh, 1 2 3 6 6 meetings and uh, we are adding to a list it's called meeting list and we are calling a function max meeting so this is a max meeting uh, so first thing what we are doing is uh, we are doing the sorting right we are sorting the meetings according to their end time okay in the ascending order and create another uh, list of selected meetings this is going to be our final schedule the selected meetings okay 
and initialize scheduled end time to minus one at the beginning. Now um, iterate the iterate all the meetings. So for each meeting, um, compare the start time should be greater than equal to the schedule end time, right? So um, initially the start time is minus one. So definitely we are going to pick the first one, right? So first meeting the start time would be greater than minus one, right? And uh, if this is true, pick that meeting, right? And update the schedule end time to the current meeting end time. So once we are done with this iteration, we'll have all the selected meetings in this list. So we'll print that. Okay, so um, you can click here to run this code to understand this better. And uh, yeah, this is how uh, we'll solve this uh, problem. And uh, now we can mark this problem as completed. And uh, please visit our website tutorialhorizon.com for uh, more interview problems. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.